Okay, um, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about how to accept input from uh, the user, right? You're using the keyboard, right? Let's let's talk about how, how to accept input from the from the user. All right, so to do that, right, we use the input function. What's called the input function in Python, right? Remember, we we haven't covered functions yet, but we know a function is basically one or more lines of Python code that is grouped together, right? The, the code can be, you know, similar. They they work together. One or more lines of Python code that's grouped together and then given a name. And anytime that name is used or anytime that name is called, the actual word for it is or actual term for it is, if if that name is called, those lines of code are executed, line one after the other, right? So that's what a function is. Sometimes functions need extra information to work with, and sometimes when they are done doing what they are supposed to do, they return back or they 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 bring back feedback. They give you back a result, right? So let's we'll talk more about functions, but let's see how the input function works. So you just call the input function by its name. It's called input, and we know functions have functions have parentheses. Now this function is, needs extra information to work with. And those extra information we pass, okay, we provide in, in, in these, these two, per, the, the parentheses are called arguments, right? We'll talk more about functions, so don't worry. So we're going to pass in, that's the term for it. When you're typing in something here, you are passing in information, and those that information is basically called argument. One argument or multiple arguments, so arguments or arguments with S. The argument, this input function needs an argument, and that argument is basically the prompt. What is going to be displayed okay to the user before they type in something it goes in double quotations or single quotations I like double quotations so but we'll talk about how how to mix up double quotations and double quotations and, and single, single quotations uh, in future videos so don't worry all right so the input function is going to display for example let's ask the user to enter their their name right so let's say enter or please enter your name I'm going to type in a colon and, and put a space here, and you see the, the essence of this space here very soon. So this statement over here is going to pop up some kind of um, text box, right? You don't, you won't, you won't necessarily see it, but it will pop, pop up some kind of space for the user to type in their name. And after the user, well, it's going to wait for the user to type in their name, right? So when the user types in their name, when they hit enter, this input function is going to return that name back to us. It's going to say, okay, here is a name that the user has typed. Where are you to, to accept this? It's, it's going to wait for us. It's going to say, okay, I'm outside. I'm, I'm here. I'm done accepting input from the user. It's like we sent this to go and accept user uh, input from the user. So it goes ahead and accepts the input from the user and says, okay, I'm back. I'm back with what the user typed. Where are you to take it? And so it returns that information. It comes back and returns it. It sends it back to us. And so when it's sending it back to us and it's returning it to us, we need a place to store that value. And so I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it username. And I'm going to use it to store whatever results the input function is returning to us or passing to us, or I'm um, sorry, or sending back to us, right? It takes the user's input and sent it back to us. And so it's when it's sending it back to us, we need a place to store it. So I've created a variable here to store that value. And over here I can use a print statement to display the user's name. Just say username. Right? So let's run this. It says please enter your name. You don't see that it's a text box, but this is a space for us to type. I'm going to type in my name Kakra, hit enter, and now it says Kakra. So let's write a simple program to basically ask the user to type in their first name, their last name, or their first name, middle name, last name, right? And then write a write a um, you know a print statement to to say hello, and then and then that full name, right? So let's do that. So um, just so for, just to refresh your memory, let's do it again, right? We know the input function takes in an argument, and that argument is basically what you want to display to the user before they type in something. So we're going to say, please enter your first name with a colon and a space. We'll talk more about it. I was supposed to do that. Uh, basically, this this was the space here, right? So this was the colon and this was the space. If you don't type in the space, whatever the user type is going to be start right after the colon. And sometimes it's too jumbled together. All right? So let's just close it here and I'll show you what I mean by that. All right. So Input, um, please enter your first name. 
we know once it's done accepting the first name from the user, it's going to return it back to us. So we need a place to store it. And so I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it first name. And I'm going to store the result of that. Okay, wh whatever the user typed in first name. I'm going to do the second, the same thing, right? It's going to it's going to be very similar to the first line. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to change a few things. I'm going to change this to second name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> second name last name right and then over here change the string to please enter your last name and then this time I'm going to put the space so we can see the difference between this without without the space here after the colon and this with a space here after the colon and then once we're done I'm going to have a print statement to display the string hello you know remember when you're passing multiple arguments to a print function they are by default separated with a space so I'm going to passing argument, say hello, that's the first argument with a comma. And then I'm going to have a first name with a comma. Now I'm not putting double quotations around first name because if I do if I do put double quotations around this first name, it's going to display directly as first name. It's going to say hello first name. Right? I don't want that. I'm I'm not surrounding this first name variable with, with double quotations because it's a variable. I want it to use I want the program to display the contents of that first name variable instead of the string first name. I'm going to say hello first name and then another, another comma last name. <clears throat> Again I'm not surrounding last name with double quotations because if I do then I want it to display the literal last name. But if I don't separate it with double quotations I want it to display the, the content or the value of last name. Right? And we know when we pass in multiple arguments into the print function this way, by default, it separates them with a space. So now this is going to read hello, space, the content of first name, space, the content of last name. These spaces is just for me, so I can read it well. It doesn't matter. As long as you pass, you separate these arguments, okay, we are passing arguments into this print function, right? When you separate them with commas over here, by default, they are separated, separated with a space. So even if you write it this way, it's still going to say hello, space, first name, the content of first name, space, the content of last name. Right, so let's just have this there, just for me so I can see them. I like to space the code out nicely. All right, so let's run this program. You can see, please enter your first name. When I type, you can see that it's really close to the colon. And so that's why I needed a space here, okay? It's really close to the colon. This is not really nice. I mean, you can. It still works, right? But then to have a space here makes makes a difference. Stop it and run. Debug it again. Now, when I start typing, it, it types after that space. Okay, displays after that space. So I'm going to say, after Kakra, please enter your last name. Detail me. Hang on, right? Hit enter. Now it says hello at the Kakra. Detail me, right? So it's it's kind of working. All right, so this is uh, this is a way to um, this is a way to. So I'm trying to th recollect back to if we talked about new line characters and all that, right? Because I wanted this space thing, and I feel a bit uneasy. I want to kind of fix this, but I'll go check if I haven't talked about new line characters. I will talk about it in the future, and if you don't know what it is, just don't worry. It's just um, a line break, a line break here. I think we we did talk about. I'm not too sure, but if we didn't, I'll definitely cover it in the future. Don't worry too much about it if you don't know what it is. Just focus on the input function and how we created this program, basically. And try, to, try to have an understanding of it, because we're going to use the input function so many times when we are writing our programs, because we're going to accept the input from the, user, uh, from the user so many times, right? So if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.